I, I honestly say that faith really saved me. Mm. 100%. My faith really saved yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's the number one thing that I Hope, really, believe, faith, yeah, yeah, I really believed on. Yep. Uh, that my faith really, yes, the mental toughness was there, but, you know, being mental is part of, you know, my faith really, it helped my mental aspect. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. Because I, you know, to be honest, I gave it up, everything. Yeah. Like, you know, I always pray that you know, whatever happens, happens because, you know, not my will, but yours. Let's fly. Take one. LA, I kind of want to keep this moving forward. Yeah. And I, I really want to talk about this. Uh, I want to hear your story on this. Like, obviously, I want to talk about cancer. Yeah. And how you battled through that. Because I, you know, we talked about this before the show, just how, you know, it, your whole life changed. Yeah. And your perspective. Mm -hmm. And now you want to be a beacon of light for just inspiring others. Mm -hmm. Uh that are feeling down or out of it or in a tough situation, it affected the whole country, it seemed yeah. like, yeah. when you had to announce it. And, yeah. you know, I was on the team when L.A. was going through this, and he had such a hard situation where he couldn't tell us what was yeah. going on because yeah. he didn't want it to be a burden or a distraction. Yeah. Exactly. And he would be coming to practice with a straight face and with a yeah. smile, yeah. getting work in. I would try to put myself in that perspective of what you're going through. And I think what I'm asking is, can you just take us through, man, maybe that first month of you find out, all right, you can't tell people yet. Yeah. What was going through it was, when that really happened? Actually, it was really, uh, uh, you know, going back, no, it was really uh, quite a journey. No? Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So actually, the, the, you remember what happened to me during the Bay Area game? Yeah, the, the, the groin injury. Yes. Right. It wasn't really a groin, totally groin injury. It's a, it's a groin to up, uh, lower abdomen, and then there's this uh, boundary, uh, pectineus muscle. Okay. Yep. Call it pectineus muscle. So I can still slide. So it's not, it wasn't groin, yeah. basically. But there's, there's this movement that's really weird that I cannot move. Like mm. I'm gonna Paralyzed be stuck you. like that, mm. and yeah. it was really painful. So the 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 PTs cannot detect. It, mm -mm. it wasn't it wasn't the hip. It wasn't the the, the groin. So when I did the MRI, it was pectineus muscle. So I don't know what it is. So yeah. it's the first time I heard about it. So excuse me. So uh, supposedly um, supposedly I cannot play with it because it was really painful. Like yeah. like. 10 out of 10, 10. Painful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I can slide. You, you, sure. you saw me yeah, in I practice. You, I tried, I you, you know, when I bend, that's the time I, I can feel it. Right. Okay. And then when I stand up like that, I can't feel it. So, it, it's weird. There's, uh, there's movement. that's like so angles that angles you would move into. Or there's really movement. But anyway, so what happened? So, I'm not supposed to play with it, but I still play with it. Mm -hmm. So, it started... I started having a, when I play with it, I started having a symptom. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, well, I can say it here. So, uh, you know, in your stool, there's a bit of, you know, blood. 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 Yeah, yeah, blood. Right. Okay, so, but, you know, it's just small thing. It's not, it's not. Not a lot. It's yeah. not a lot. It's, it's scary. Like spot, got you. spot, spot, spots of blood on your stool, no? So at first, you know, ah, this is this is okay. It's yeah, this sure. hemorrhoid probably. Yeah, something, mm. you know, something Deal like that. Deal with it after the conference. Deal after yeah, the conference. Yeah. So I still played with with the groin injury. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I played the game six and then game seven. Yep. And then game six, game seven, I did the you know the the painkillers. Yeah. And just for me to get by and play. So after that, we had a break because of the window. Yep. 
So it got it got worse probably because when we when I practice with it, I didn't rest eh, because I'm supposed to rest. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, four weeks rest mm-hmm. dapat. So I cannot practice for four weeks. But I cannot. We started already after two weeks. Yep. And then we practice one week. And then a week after, there's a window. So Coach Tim wasn't there. Remember? Yep. Coach Tim started coaching the window. We were going to upper deck. Upper deck. To, we were yeah, in upper deck. And it started already the week before that started getting worse. Mm-hmm. When I play with it, it's getting worse. A lot of, you know, blood More spots. Blood. Yeah, yeah. And then when I don't play with it, like we have a rest day, oh, there's not. The, yeah. uh-huh. So it's weird. But I'm the type of person that every time I feel something or, you know, something, you know, came up like mm-hmm. colds or cough, I go to the doctor, right? to I call it, yeah. to the doctor and try yeah. to fix it right away. So good thing I'm like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I called my mom, asked for her, their doctor because, you know, the, the how do you call that doctor? Like gas, gas, gastro. Ga- gastro, yeah. Yeah, gas. Or something. Yeah, none of us yeah, did very well in we're, science. We're not <laughs> gastronilius. Yeah. Gastronilius. Yeah. Gas, gas, gastro doctor. Okay. Greek anyway. gas. Yeah. Gastronilius. Gastro. That's the name. Okay. All right. I was I was absent when we were talking about that in <laughs> yeah. college. <laughs> uh, anyway, so so uh, so there. So I I got an appointment. To my pa- uh, from my parents' doctor in mm-hmm. Medical City, so oh, he, so I did the the colonoscopy. Yeah. Supposedly colonoscopy. Ah uh, no, first pala the the doctor checked me first, mm. and then he said, um, okay, maybe let's do a colonoscopy Mm-mm. next week. Let's schedule next week. So right. we 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 have to make sure, no. So he gave me a medicine for hemorrhoid. So a topical wow. and Topical medicine and uh, medicine. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Ash Wednesday, Feb twenty two, mm-hmm. we were practicing in. You we we were practicing in upper deck because Coach Tim and the other players yep, are in the gone. window. Yep. So Coach Richard was the one who's handling the practice. So Ash Wednesday had the the schedule the week after for colonoscopy and supposedly you guys did your colonoscopy not yet. I've done it. You've done it. I've so done supposedly it. the yeah. colonoscopy. When you're done, uh, when you wake up after the, yeah. when you wake up in the recovery room, yeah. you can stand up and go home. Yep. That's it. That's it. After that, you you can't feel anything because you you're sleeping, the whole time. So when I did my colonoscopy, so I woke up. Oh, and then I saw uh, nurse. Nurse, uh, okay na ako. I, uh, mm-hmm. I'm I'm awake. Uh, I can go home. Yeah. And then the nurse said, "Oh, uh, I don't wait lang daw for the doctor's uh, advice. Uh, may sa sabi niya tasi si doctor. Mm-hmm. The doctor mm-hmm. will say something." I was like, "Huh? Okay." So I got up, changed. Then I saw. So I was with my parents. Okay. So Cheska was in the office. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Okay. She didn't go with me because mm-hmm. she knew it's just, just call and ask yeah, No big deal. Yeah, you know, who 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 would have thought, right? Yeah. So. She was in the office because meeting with the boss. So, and then when I woke up, and then I stood up and changed in the locker room. Locker room, and then when I came out, I saw her coming. Just um, saw yeah. Chester there. Mm. I was oh, like, "Hey, hey, why are you here? Mm-hmm. So what's happening?" And then the doctor pulled me in the, pulled me out in the, the, the one of the room. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then there, there, I saw, so what's happening? My parents are there, and then my wife, and then the doctor. And then they're all quiet. I was like, Doc, what, what's happening? Oh, and the doctor didn't know how, how, how to does, how say, do you it. say it. Mm. Yeah. So he said, um, uh, we, did your, we did the colonoscopy, you know, uh, but we, we saw something. I was like, so yeah. doc, bakit di natin tinanggal? Why didn't we mm-hmm. take, take it, it out? out right away? Yeah. Uh, so it's like really they don't know what to they say. They don't know how yeah. to say it they straight he, up. Yeah. He doesn't know how to say. It. So eventually yeah. he said that um, uh, we saw something, you know. Uh, so but we have to do the biopsy. So, so and then I was like biopsy. Hmm. So because of you know came from. You know the the colonoscopy. Mm-hmm. Just woke up. You you didn't absorb yet 
Yeah. What's biopsy or whatever, yeah. right? So what's what's happening? Yeah. yeah. So when he said it doesn't look good, so he said like that. Mm. I was like, oh shit! I was mm. like, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we saw. A, he said that he we saw a two more like uh, three centimeter. The, the measurement is about three centimeter already. Yeah. And so, but we did the biopsy. We'll get the result and then we'll see from there. What, what the next mm -hmm. uh, procedure we will do? And I was like, okay, so I didn't absorb it yet. Okay. So I, I I told the doctor, I asked the doctor, doc, for sure this is not the first time you saw this kind of yeah you know right. uh, image yeah, or yeah. picture. What is it? Sabi niya, it doesn't look good. Uh, but he said that he's gonna wait for the biopsy, but the percentage of being, you know, mm -hmm. uh, benign, very slim. Mm. So, you know, of course, Just the wife started crying. Course, Did he mention know. the word cancer? Um, I don't remember. Right. I don't, uh, to be honest, I don't you're remember. Still trying to process. I was trying to process everything. But, you know, I asked the doctor right away. So, doc, what's going to happen to me? Yeah. I asked right away. Right. Because, you know, yeah. 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 it's no, already it's there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, what's going to happen to me? What's 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 gonna be the the next step? Because when you hear uh when you hear that kind of you know so I don't know maybe he he said about you know cancerous or something like that. That's why I asked that question. What's mm -hmm. gonna happen to him? Because when you hear the when you hear the word the the big C, yeah, automatic, yeah. mm -hmm. my God, this is yeah. this is it. My yeah, God. Right? so yeah. right. How long do I? So have? I asked right away. So what's gonna happen to me? So that's what that's why I asked that. So. And then my wife started crying, and then we went home. That's so why the doctor said, "Just wait for the the results." The result. Mm. So anyway, so so we my my wife has a meeting with boss RSA, so I brought her to the to the office. So we were in the car, and she was crying. Then, so what's gonna happen? Oh, it's it's really cancer. She was yeah. explaining it to me. Ah, uh, she. Parang I, I told pa I told my wife, huh? Diba we have to wait pa for the biopsy before. But yeah, but it's you know mm -hmm. the doctor said it doesn't, doesn't look good anyway. Already preparing for it. So, mm. the first person I went to uh, was Boss Al. So we we went to the we went to the office San Miguel. And then Cheska has a meeting. My wife has a meeting with boss RSA. And then me. So so maybe we should ask uh, boss, boss, what can we do? Yeah. Okay, so we went to Boss Al. Mm -hmm. So there, from there, Boss Al said, Oh, you came from colonoscopy, you should mm -hmm. go home in right. dress. Yeah. Uh, you'll be dizzy mm -hmm. in time. And then I called him. Then bring, uh, I told him, let's talk to the office. And he's like, what? What happened? Then there, I told, we, 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 we told him. Yeah. He was shocked. Yeah. He yeah. Was, How did he take it? Was he it was teary-eyed yeah. when he right. heard about it. Yeah. No? So, so from there, so he's the only one. I, we were the only one, to, even my in-laws, we didn't tell our in-laws yet, our, our children. So we're the only ones who are yeah, right small, right. group. small group. And then, so we planned it. Uh, Boss Al planned it. Oh, I think. And you know, my plan was really to finish the conference first. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I was like, the next day I practiced. Um, yeah. But the night, the night of the, the same day, that night, I, we scheduled the CT scan right away. Okay. Because it's very important to schedule the CT scan for, to see if there's any, any spreading. Spread. Any spread, yeah. yeah. So the CT scan was that night, and then the next night it was MRI. So we did the all, and you know the here man when you schedule the Some MRI and CT scans like like two weeks three yeah, weeks I'm, yeah. like, I'm gonna die already. <laughs> <laughs> wow. no, Thank yes. goodness. I know. So we got all the resources, you know, yeah. all a lot of doctors that we know. Please, can we? You know, can we schedule right away? Very important. We we didn't tell the doctor our doctors yeah. what what's happening, but please, important. So anyway, so we planned it already, but still. So he said, the the biopsy result will be released Friday, 
That was Wednesday. No, supposedly Monday. Oh wow! But we knew someone from Medical City, and then we okay. asked the direct uh, one of the directors to to pull it out right away. Mm. So Friday we got it. So I was practicing. I practiced Thursday. I practiced Friday, and then Friday during practice, my doctor was calling yeah. <laughs> because I saw I saw him. Yeah, yeah. yeah you didn't you didn't see me. I don't know if you no, see him. He I saw me. I didn't. But I went to the sideline, answered my phone, and then I I. I asked the doctor, so doc, what's uh, yeah. what's the result? Mm -hmm. So he said, you know, as as expected, you know, it's cancer. malignant, mm. it's cancer. And then my Just everything. Uh, no, I did not. I was like, Just a, my God, this is it. I was like. And then what I what I told doctor, I don't know what to say, but doc, can I talk to you after? I'm yeah. just gonna finish Let practice. <laughs> so I finished my practice. My yeah. goodness. You know, I finished the practice. Because that's like your safe haven. Yeah. That's what makes yeah. you feel normal. Yeah, like, it was, right? you know, I don't wanna yeah. uh let anyone, you know, notice yeah. that yeah. I'm going through something. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, don't of wanna course. that's how we're be affected, them be affected, what so I was like okay, so I finished the practice and then after practice uh, boss Al called me. Uh, we have lunch tomorrow. So bring all your tests and everything. Yeah. So one of the so he, he asked one of the board of governors uh, who had a uh, cancer. Mm -hmm. He's a cancer survivor. Right. Uh, lung cancer. So he he went to he went to Singapore. Mm -hmm. So we ha we have a, we have lunch tomorrow. In, our, in my house, you, mm -hmm. you go and then let's talk to him. Okay, so the next day, I didn't go to practice. Yeah. Oh no, we don't have practice. Saturday, we, got, mm -hmm. we had break. Saturday, Sunday. Right. Uh, ah, no, we had practice. Sorry, we had practice, but I didn't practice. Okay. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because Wednesday, we have game already. Yeah, that's, that's my first. That's the first uh, one you had to First one I didn't. That was, yeah, I didn't that was the. Okay. That was the end of the streak. That, that was the end, end of the streak. streak. So Saturday I, we, I I had lunch with Boss Al. I still practice Saturday, and then right after Saturday, mm -hmm. practice I run to Boss Al's house and we had lunch with the one of the board of governors who are, who is cancer survivor, mm -hmm. lung cancer. So uh, then I told him. I told him what happened, but. During the Wednesday, uh, the Thursday and Friday, I already we already set a a set uh, group of doctors mm -hmm. like in St. Luke's. You no, know, I gathered all I because I, we know a lot of doctors. You no, know? right. so all directors of this, director of mm -hmm. that. So we told them we we told them my my situation, but mm -hmm. very secretly I, I I requested that please don't don't say anything. Yeah. 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 So, so they pull up a group of doctors like, you know, I don't care if I don't know them. I don't care how much it is. Yeah. Just, you know, I want the best. The elite. The That's best. So the elite, the best. So they, they pull up like in two days. We're ready. Yeah. Anytime. Let's start. So Saturday, I had a meeting with Boss Al and said, LA, why don't we do a second opinion? And then we, we had a... Lunch with that uh, yeah, the board of governor. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the governors of the PBA, and then he said, "Oh, why don't you have a second opinion? I can give you. I can uh, schedule you in Singapore." Was the first opinion basically like you're gonna die? Sorry. No, no, like, not really. Just, uh, not really, because okay. the CT scan came out and the MRI came out. There's Didn't no spread. spread. Okay. Okay. So it's really so it's we're really concentrating on okay. that uh, tumor in the the colon, and it wasn't. In the because there's two, there's two type. Eh? There's a colon and then there's a rectile. That's mm. why it's colorectile. But if it is in the colon, pa, it's an early stage. But mm. if it is in a rectile, that's major. Okay. Late. Yeah, late. Okay. So anyway, so I get back to that later. But um, so there. So okay, uh, why not go second opinion, mm -hmm. Singapore? Okay. So he messaged the doctor on the Saturday. He answered back. Less than two minutes. Wow. Like, uh, uh, I want to see him Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Oh, in, wow. Singapore. in Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's I getting real. Like, like, it's really I happening. I was like, uh, boss. So, boss was there. Boss, 
Can I play first on Wednesday? <laughs> of course you would ask that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this, this, this guy, bro. This guy, bro. I was like, yeah. boss, I was telling me, puta. Sabi LA, don't <laughs> complain <laughs> anymore. Think of your life, think of your family, yeah. think of your children. Yeah. Okay, okay. You were thinking about the Iron Man street. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah, just, can just, I just finish this conference? It's just your routine, man. You've been doing yeah. it your whole life, so right? So anyway, so I started, you know, this is a long story. Actually, this is my first time to, yeah. to say it in yeah, a, you know, the whole story. You know? yeah. I told it bit by, you know, sure. piece by piece in, a, in an interview, but not the whole story. You know? So we got time. No, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Man. We love so it. anyway, so, uh, so the next day, we went to Singapore Sunday evening mm -mm. we went we flew into Singapore me and my wife and my parents plus my my cousin who is a doctor also so we flew into Singapore uh, uh, Sunday evening then Monday relax oh no 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 Monday I had a he requested a uh, blood test I think Monday okay. and then Tuesday I had a meeting so I brought all my my, my results, results from here. Yeah. And I didn't notice, because I haven't, you know, I didn't check the whole thing. I didn't notice that my CT scan and MRI had different results, like different size of tumor. One is three and one is eight. Hmm. Was, and then the doctor said, huh, what, what is this? I was yeah. like, oh, I cannot. We have to repeat we everything. Have to do everything. <laughs> oh <laughs> so, my God. So from there, you know, That's he explained everything. Ever. Honestly, we, I was really dead set with the doctors that we have because I'm really, you know, believe in the doctors that yeah. we have here. Yeah. Really good. No? Uh, the, the doctors that uh, we talk to and the, the set of doctors, we research them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, my wife is a research, so yeah. that's, yeah. His, that's, that's, what, she that's, does. that's yeah. what she does every day. So she researched everything. He said, oh, okay, we're okay already. So, so when we went to the... The sing when we went before we went to Singapore, we had the research also with that mm -hmm. doctor. Mm. So, so I think he's okay. You know, in Singapore, is on top six. Yeah, yeah. in the yeah. world. Yeah. The whole this world. is in the world. Yeah. yeah, for cancer. So okay, so okay. So somewhere far, like in the states, in yeah, uh, it's too, in too uh, in UK, you know, yeah. so it's too far already. Mm -hmm. So, so from there we had a meeting, uh, appointment. Then he explained everything. What you know, what what's gonna happen? What mm -hmm. we're gonna do? That's cool. The the process and everything. You know, we didn't go home for three weeks anymore. Yeah, yeah, right. I was right. there already. Right. Stayed right. there. He stayed there for three weeks. It's like it's expensive, yeah. but, but and okay. Secret, just got a secret hotel still is going on. Uh, we we got my my mom because uh, we had a like a relative there, and then he got into a like a, a, a Airbnb apartment suite. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice, nice. And it's. And it, there's a discount. It's a big discount. So we stayed there. But uh, we stayed first week in a hotel before the operation. So we stayed in a hotel for a week for operation. Mm -hmm. Basically, the operation and the recovery uh, lasted for two weeks. Okay. So, so from there, everything went fast. Yeah. Like, sounds like it. Colonoscopy again. Yeah. Uh, no more CT scan and MRI. Direct uh, okay. straight to PET scan. Mm. You know, the funny thing is, I had a PET scan there, right? So the, the PET scan result came out. And they saw something here mm. in my... Uh, yeah, lymph nodes. Lymph node. Yeah. Oh, um, you have to, we have to... Uh, we saw something. And the doctor, the doctor in Singapore are straightforward. Yeah. They'll just tell like you. Like, there's no sugar coating. Yeah, you know? there's oh, no yeah, too shy to you? tell you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not like yeah, here. Yeah, you know, yeah. you look good. No. <laughs> it's like, oh, we saw something here, you know, before I sat down in uh -huh. the, the, the room. Uh, we saw something. Uh, we have to do biopsy again here. Just, I was like... Just to mentally go through that. Come on. Oh, it's like, dude. come on, God. It, it has to be too... too uh, no? It too, must have been so hard, hard to break too. in. Break, yeah. yeah. So I hope... Only one, yeah. not two. So I did uh, the biopsy here. Yeah. They did the, the aspirate. aspirate. Mm -hmm. It was painful. But aspirate well, here. What's that mean? Like they, they, do, they have to do a biopsy because they saw a... So they have to cut? They have no, to cut something or... No, not cut. They just have to... Big needle? Needle. Oh, and then, yeah, right. And there's a camera or something sure. like that. Yeah. So anyway, so they, they did it. So, so I have to wait another day. 
for for the for result, result mm-hmm. no so when i the next day when i came back good thing everything's uh, oh, yeah. it's negative yeah. it's, so it just took know, one day it's just one to day get the results Dude. so after three days uh after three days i had my operation already so from the three days uh, it was really fast like i stayed for the supposedly i I'm gonna stay for in the hospital for four days only, but I, mm. I opted to stay for seven days yeah. just to make sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go anywhere anyway. So, so I went out Sunday. Mm. That's I had the operation Monday, I think, March seven, and then I went out in the hospital and then spent another week in Singapore just mm. to just like process process just everything, and then that's where me and my wife was thinking: should we, you know, announce it? Should yeah. we? You know, uh, make a statement about it. So we asked Boss Al about it. You know, uh, we asked. Uh, but during uh, before I left from Singapore, I already told the coach team. I have to call yeah. coach yes. team. Yeah. And coach team was, you know, coach team was. Co- you know, coach team is it talk, was very such talkative. A weird time. Yeah. When you talk to him. Yeah. When I said that, uh, coach, because I was diagnosed, uh, he was. He was quiet the whole time. <laughs> was like, wow, that's a shocker. He, he was, Dude. I know, he was, yeah. Coach, are you, okay? are you okay, Coach? No, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were checking on yeah, him. Yeah, checking on him because he was quiet. He yeah. didn't say nothing you for could feel his energy. For two yeah. minutes. You could feel his energy, bro. Like, I mean, you weren't there on the nah. team, but when you were gone before making that announcement, it was really weird. Yeah. Like, remember, I, w- I would message you randomly yeah. where I'm just, because oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know yet. Yeah. And I would just hit up LA because... People were acting weird, and you could feel it. Yeah. So I'll throw out messages like, "Hey, man, I just yeah. want to let you know I'm thinking about you. I love you." I was you. in the hospital bed. Y- <laughs> yeah, you told me, me that, yeah. and I mean, he didn't text me that, but um, he yeah, was just, you would just be like, yeah. "Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. cool, bro." Like, yeah, thank a lot you, of man. a lot of people are looking for me. I was like, yeah, no, no, no worry. I'm just taking weird, my man. time, doing my vacation yeah. here. Yep. So, but then, yeah, we decided. I uh, talked to Coach Tim, talked to Com Willie about it, and uh, Boss Al. So that group and then you know okay let's let's make a draft so we made the draft before we went home and then uh, the day before i left probably say yeah i think can okay. you know uh it's okay to to say it you know in public mm-hmm. and they're gonna they're gonna know it anyways yeah, you know? yeah they're gonna yeah. find out yeah. anyway so yeah. was your way of what you posted on social media is that uh, your first? Th- no, you know? my my way is I wanted to to be the one to talk to the players, to the so first. to the team first, so they know us. it first before they they re- read it in the yeah, in the social media. That, but yeah. at the same time, that's uh, no, that's simultaneous. Same day. And yeah, I I time. what we did is I let the PBA uh, press or the PBA you release know, it. Release it. So. Simultaneous when I was talking to you guys that it day, was popping off. They, your phone must have been going crazy after that. Oh yeah, it was <laughs> crazy, bro. Crazy like exploding. Exploding. And my wife was in Hong Kong for a conference meeting. Oh wow. So I was here alone. So that's, that's really, funny. like my phone was when I was talking to you guys, like yeah. pak, 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 yeah, pak, yeah. and then vibrating my yep. my Apple Watches. Okay, yes. and then. There. So, you know, the, the whole journey was really... And then from there, I have to go back for the chemotherapy. Yeah. And then if you see in the social media, I was really surprised also the the, the support that I had yeah. with oh, my, yeah. all my friends. Was, all the support was crazy. crazy. So I didn't tell them that, oh, hey, come with me in Singapore. Maybe you should go. No. I was going to yeah. ask you that heard because about that. I saw different groups. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that was so cool. You, you, you know me. I have a yeah. lot of different yeah. groups like yeah. my yeah, wife yeah. was really you know like you know because my wife doesn't like me a lot of groups i have a lot of groups you know so what they did is they scheduled because my my treatment is scheduled already yep. i cannot miss that yep. i cannot so whether you go with me or not I, i'll You'll be, be there, there. I'll, be there. Yeah. I'll be there i, I cannot miss one day because i have to do it all over right, again. Right, yeah. right. so it's already pre-scheduled for 12 sessions for six months every two weeks so uh, the first two sessions, or the first two or first three, I was with my wife and I think my wife and uh, yeah, Zanjo. Zanjo's no, the first one, the first 
one was Mark, I think. Mark and Lauren. Mark was because Mark is really, really close. Yeah. yeah. We're really yep. close now. No. Uh they were the uh Silaren, uh they were the one who's you know, uh the first person we first you know. One. And then before my operation they were there yeah. already. And then my my chemo, first three I think they were there, and then the fourth one they started, you no know, different group. Yeah. So what they did, oh LA, when's your next one? Who who's gonna be with you on on this date? Mm -hmm. Oh no no nobody. Okay, can we be on the? They cool. they set the date for so from themselves yeah. and then they scheduled it. So my wife is not required to or is not yeah you know it's not required to. To be with the kids, also business. have the kids, and yeah. he cannot. Business. She cannot uh, uh, take a leave yeah. every time yeah. because yeah. of Makes my sense. my situation. So he can, as uh, she can, uh, the boss allowed her, but you know, yeah. of course, right? Yeah. So, so every time I'm not with my wife, I have to bring in nards, our nurse, yeah. Uh, yeah. my team nurse, because they have to clean up my wound the, the wound uh, yeah. the one that mm -hmm. it's with me the whole time for six months you know? so it was really you know going back uh it was really fun you know fun. I, 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 I really somehow i really enjoyed it mm. no uh i just i don't wanna during the, the whole journey i don't wanna think of that i always tell my my friends that you know, every time you see me, every time I I uh, I'm with you guys, uh, we don't have to change anything. You know, yeah. we don't yeah. have to don't treat know, me differently. Don't treat me differently, yeah. like you know, awa or something like that. Yeah. Right? Sometimes they're the ones who's gonna be, oh, LA, it's already 11 p.m. Go home. I I'll take that. It's okay. Sure. Yeah. You know, that's what friends really you know mm -hmm. concern. Yeah. But, but I'm I'm okay with that. But. You know, treating me like you know I'm sick. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't I don't that. like that. Not cool, well, yeah. I don't like that. So you know, I always you know you see me like I'm out, I'm partying. <laughs> like, one time I was in, uh, I was I think I went to Rebel. Pa. I was like, yeah. is, it, is this really? You know, I think this is not right. <laughs> and then I have this thing. Yeah. So and of course my immune system is down because yeah. you know I'm doing the treatment. So, you know, but eleven o'clock, I eleven twelve. Maximum, I have to go. You home. gotta go, bro. They, my friends will tell me go home. Yeah, you, you don't have to be here. So, yeah. So, you know, it was really, it was tough. Yeah. No, uh, whenever you're alone. Yeah. I think uh, what what happened to me for the past probably the whole career that I had, the 17 years in the PBA, uh, prior to the PBA, prepared me. For this, yeah, you yeah. know, mentally, mentally, mentally. I, bet. I mean, physically, yeah. again, what I told you before the, the start, physically and emotionally, probably, yeah, there, but really mentally. Yeah, elaborate yeah. on that a little bit. That's, that's it's just good, the, the that's mental battle. The mental, the mental battle was really yeah. tough because, yes, when you see me, when you see me with my friends in Singapore, uh, doing the treatment, you know, we play golf before, mm -hmm. we play golf before yeah. doing the treatment. We eat a lot, like yeah. food trip, like really we, we eat most of the nicest That's restaurant so cool. in yeah. mm -hmm. in, uh, in, Singapore. in Singapore with different people yeah. that I've been there. Every two weeks or different friend of mm -hmm. uh, set of friends. So uh but you know, when you go home, going back, go back to your room, yeah, you know, being alone, mm -hmm. you're still gonna think of, you know, yeah. what's gonna happen to yeah. you after. Yeah. yeah. Uh I still have small kids. You know, yeah. you know uh, I have four plus my wife. You know, I don't know what what yeah. what to what to do. Were, right? were you like trying to prepare, being I, realistic? I like I should write a will just in case. Not really you know writing a will, but you know, I don't want to tell my my wife or my family. Right. But yeah. it's a hard discussion. It's to have, hard but discussion. It's something you have yeah, to. But the the good thing about that is. The, the first three, the first, I think the first session was, the first two sessions was really crucial mm -mm. because that's where really I can feel, you know, my body. Mm -hmm. If I can really respond well to All the right. treatment. Yeah. Right. No? And it was good. I mean, the, the mm -hmm. first treatment, the first session was hard because um, I got dizzy after. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the symptoms. I got dizzy after, but I'm not to the point that I'm puking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, so, 
but I eat a lot. I ate a lot. No, I eat a lot after a session. Um, but the, 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 after the second one, I think I, I got this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, in my mind, the confidence was the there. The confidence already. was there. I think I got this. Yeah, I okay. know the routine already. So my routine, just so you know, I fly Sunday in Singapore. Monday, I have a blood test. And then the whole day, I'm free to, to walk around. And then the next day, the result of the blood test will come out about probably 9 o'clock. And then 9.30, I have an appointment with the doctor. And then after that, 10 o'clock, I'll start my chemo, chemo in the same clinic. Because yeah. he's the only doctor who has uh, the chemo in, clinic yeah, in the clinic already. Cool. So 12 o'clock, I'm done. I, I'm going to eat lunch. And then I'm going to rest the whole day. Mm-hmm. If, I'm can, if I can go with my friends who's with me that time to eat dinner, I, I go with them. Yeah. And oh. then the next day, Wednesday, I go home. Okay. So basically, that's my that was my that was routine, routine for the past every six two months. Weeks every six two months. weeks. When you think yeah. about it, bro, it's kind of crazy. It's uh, well going back to no no sorry J. No, 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 going go back ahead. to to be the, the the mental part. No, I I think yeah, it's really, it's really the battle, the mm. challenge. That's really the battle that you really have to to uh, get through. Yeah. No, uh, physically because you don't I don't know, control anymore. Eh? Yeah. Your physical because of the medicines that mm-hmm. coming into your body. I was ready to have, you know, less hair f- for this to be out, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to shave it. Right? <laughs> so, no, but, you know, uh, really, in, it, that was really the, the battle for me, the, the, the mental part, you know, just seeing the, my, Just the power of the your, power. your thoughts. Were you just, Everything. were you kind of telling yourself, yeah. like... Plus, the, the, the moment I... I, um, I announced that I have cancer, I was like, like a lot of people came up to me that they have cancer also. Mm. Mm. So, That's and then actually, you know, I'm happy also because a lot of people, a lot of, you know, those people that who contacted me, they wanted to go to Singapore also yeah. to have a second opinion at least or mm-hmm. talk to my doctor about the results and everything. Yeah, so right. for me, it's like, wow, I get to help. Yeah. This is my, yeah. my, my chance also to, to help other people. So I gave man. my number, my doctor's number every time. Oh, man, like man. my doctor will say, oh, please don't ask any <laughs> referral fee. <huh?" laughs> because I, you know. That was I, God's way of using you. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's the first one, Beautiful. right? So I was like, oh, so with that, you know, mentally, I was like, you know, I'm very, very, uh, how do you, I not say I'm not, I'm fulfilled, no, yeah. but. It put you in another another role to lead. Yes, exactly. Exactly. (laughs) It put you right back into a situation to lead. That's awesome. It was kind of, parang for me, you know, I'm happy also that uh, I became, you know, an instrument, you know, to to a lot of people. You know, just to say, you know, I I, I told a lot of my friends, you know, so a lot of, you know, my friend of my friend have a cancer. Mm-hmm. And then they they were diagnosed here, and then when they went to Singapore, now they're okay. They're okay mm. now. That's so great. No, but it's also unfair. No, it's sad truth. No, but uh, I think no, people will say also sometimes I re- every time I post I I can read sometimes oh you're lucky you know mm. you're lucky because you have means to go to For Singapore. Sure. Mm. So mm. it's sad truth, but really that's a that's a thing. Eh? It's mm-hmm. You don't have means. It's really it's hard. It's hard. That's yeah. probably one of the 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 thing that you're gonna think mentally if you don't have the means to go to the best doctor. Yeah. yeah. Even you don't have to go to Singapore. The best doctor is here. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. It's expensive yeah. to you know you have the the worst illness that you you can get. Plus, this is the most expensive one. Yeah. So how can you, you know, you're gonna think of your your body, mm-hmm. and then. At the same time, you're gonna think, oh, how can I pay this? Everything probably that's the the, the moment you're gonna, you know, really deteriorate yeah. because of the mental yeah. part of it. So it's hard, you know, to to talk to people also who's who experiencing who experience this kind of you know illness also. Those who are because they're gonna say, oh, you're lucky because you have the means. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. So, but for me, it's not only 
the means. No? Probably you're not gonna get the best treatment, but somehow the, the positivity, the mental mm-hmm. toughness, and definitely the faith. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I honestly say that faith really saved me. Yeah. 100%. My faith really saved yeah. me. Yeah. I mean, uh, that's the number one thing that I Hope, really, believe, faith, yeah, yeah, I really believed on. Yep. Uh, that my faith really, yes, the mental toughness was there, but, you know, being mental is part of, you know, my faith really, um, uh, parang, it, it helped my mental aspect. No? Yeah. Because I, you know, to be honest, I gave it up everything. Yeah. Like, you know, I always pray that, you know, whatever happens, happens. Because, you know, not my will, but yours. Done. That's mm-hmm. it. Like and that doesn't cost money, money bro. The yeah. the faith that you have that God could be your ultimate healer mm. doesn't cost a dollar. Oh, yeah. It doesn't cost not yeah, one it's penny. In you. So that's, that's in you, like yeah. you said, the faith. That's why it's really, you know, people sometimes will tell me, oh, because you have no. I mean, there's there's always uh, there's always an opportunity. There's always a chance. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have faith, and you have the mental toughness and being positive at all the time. You know, that's what uh, now the difference, the perspective. Yeah. Yeah. You know, every time I see problems, like come on, there's a lot of there's <laughs> a can lot you, of things you, that you can you elaborate on that because I think that's a very important um, part to talk about is. In life, we take time that we have for granted. We take our life of being able to wake up healthy, just just to wake up and open our eyes. We take that for granted that our life could change in a second, Mm. right? Like in in an instant, he just Mm. went to the doctor. He thinking, oh, it's a hemorrhoid. Doctor, no, you have cancer. Your life Mm. could end soon, right? That type of news. What does that do for your life now that you wake up every day that you can appreciate life. Little things probably don't bother you that used to bother you before, you know? Every like, day, when I wake up, I pray right away. Mm. Thank God, another opportunity, another, mm-hmm. you know, whatever happens today. I'm very thankful and grateful. I get to see my wife. I get to see my children. That's it. I get to, now I'm practicing, looking forward this day to get mm. better and to get back and playing right away. Because you're right. When I was playing, I wake up, get my cell phone, Go to the bathroom. You know, I don't even, yeah. you know, I just mean. Just take it for granted. Stay for, yeah, Staying I in pray. the moment. Staying in the I moment. Pray before, uh, I pray oh, before. My routine is always praying before driving out yeah. my garage. That's my routine ever since before. But now, as soon as I wake up, you know, set up, you know. I have an altar now in, cool. <laughs> in my, in yeah. beside of my bed because That's a lot cool. of people gave me, yeah. you know, rosaries, mm-hmm. everything, yeah. you know, That's a lot so of, cool. you know, something like that, just to for me to be on, a, on that, you know. So, but anyways, so now I wake up, sit down, spend time to thank, and you know, another day. Uh, now I do it like one day at a time, yeah. like whatever is in front of me. Yeah, be present. present. Be present. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Be yeah. present. That's what I'm going to say. Be present and, yeah. you know, make the most out of it. Yeah. Make the most out. If you have children, I, I, sometimes, actually, that before, because I have a lot of friends, I, I, I'm the type of person that I don't say, I can't say no. no yeah. Yeah. I'm the type of person. <laughs> so every time uh, there's a party here, I say yes. Even double schedule, yes, I, I, mm-hmm. I, I, I go sure, here right. and then uh, even though it's 2 a.m. already, uh, to go there, you yeah, know, yeah. I'm that type of person. Eh. So, but now, really, I, I, I really appreciate, you know, everything, what's what's happening, getting, you know, getting by every day, yeah. right? You know, so, but still, I'm I'm still the same person, yeah. you know. I, I'm yeah. not gonna say that I'm, I'm totally different. Mm-mm. Well, what 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 uh what I think the difference now is really, you know. A, appreciate more right. no and Grateful. not for me that's the biggest challenge now in my personally that's the biggest challenge now for me now that i'm you know on mm-hmm. a remission is really going back to that idea or um attitude of taking things for granted and mm-hmm. doing things that kind of you think that you're inevitable that. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a challenge for me now so every time i oops Every time I think of something that, oh, I think this is not, oh, this is me before, but now, no. Then you gotta remind I, will, yourself I will relax myself and then, you know, no. 
I'm mm-hmm. thankful, I'm grateful. Yeah, you know, I right. don't have to to deal with this. You know, it, it's like that. So it will help. Eh. It will help sure. really, you know, release stress, no stress anymore. Easier too. So right. easier, easier. So uh, that, that's what I know. It's really, you're right, Sole. It, you're us, even me. Before I, I take things for granted, you yeah. know, every we day. All do, we all do. Know, for sure, it's you, easy to get down that road. In some point of our lives, every sure. day we we do that. You no, know, even with our kids, yeah. you know, yeah. with with our family, with yeah. our friends, yeah. with our teammates. Yeah. Right. So now I don't know how to play. I mean, if I play basketball, I'll be really good at the, everyone. Like I'll be have, just nice to everyone. Just now. Nice to everyone, <laughs> even with the referees. Yeah. You know me when I referees. Call, ref. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. refs! Yeah, yeah, I love you, ref. Yeah. <laughs> Until someone I mean gives that. you an elbow. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, let's wait to see LA like yeah. Game Seven, LA. I want to see how right. nice it'll be by then. So we'll it's really that. annoying. Parang that's why I kept on telling the players, my, my teammates. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't. You don't. You think that you were you're here? No. Yeah. You know, they can you know they, it can easily you change, know, change, so and you know it, it can easily be you it's know taken away, taken from, away you. from you. Split second, like yeah. this one, and then you're yeah. gonna think that's the time you're gonna think palang that oh everything is yeah. like that. So that's why now uh, sometimes if I talk to some of my friends, don't wait that something happen. Don't wait. Till something happened to you Make or to your happen. loved ones or to you, anyway, just to 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 appreciate, to be grateful and thankful to everything that you have. You yeah. know, for sure, people will be have more than you. I mean, that's yeah. life. I mean, yeah. life is unfair. Yeah. It's yeah. really like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> right? you know, but but someone they have more. But I I look at it as it can always be worse. No matter where you're at in life, yeah, it can always sure. be worse. Look at what's sure. going on. In yeah. Israel, 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 Palestine. Yeah. 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 Imagine we get to wake up, bro, to not be in war. War. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it could always be worse. You know, like someone, if you if you could just be present with your life and where you're at right now, because it, like you said, it could be taken from you, and it doesn't, and it and it just stops. Mm-hmm. It could just change. It doesn't. Mm-hmm. It, it yeah. doesn't wait for any time. It doesn't. Wait, it's over. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Your life changes just like that. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, I appreciate you sharing that story because that, yeah, for that, sure, bro. that that's going to be like so impactful for anybody yeah. to, to listen to because of the, that perspective is everything. Yeah. Perspective really is it will really change your life. Like yeah. probably it will lessen your stress. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because stress is really for me. I think that's the, number the one, one cancer. That's the number exactly. one cancer one. Bro. Yes. Uh, probably not sugar, but really stress. Stress. Stress, <laughs> stress is really, if yeah. you're really okay with everything, you know, you're happy, you're, you know, you're contented with what you have. Mm-hmm. You know? So now that I realize that every day, that's my life now. Yeah. You know? yeah. uh, really. Uh, and I hope, and I, you know, you know, by playing again, that's why I'm really, you know, I can easily say that I'm done. Sure. Yeah. After what happened to yeah. me, sure. I'm done. But, you know, I think, you know, that's what I, w- that's what I, I wrote on my, yeah. my, my statement after I got, mm-hmm. you know, uh, clearance with the doctor. It's like, really, God has a higher purpose. purpose. I'm not going to be the same probably, but I'm going to be the best. Uh, probably another best b- version of me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I can't wait. You know, I I, I really Excited, bro. like. That's why I'm really working doubly hard. Yeah, bro. He's to, working, bro. Uh, yeah. Sure. So I'm really working. working. It's like, like you're a rookie again, almost. I, you're working I, yeah. as much as the rookies, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you're there and early. You stayed late after. Yeah, like. Man, it's really. <laughs> but it's different now. It's different. Like, oh, yeah. My goodness. Yeah. It's but, inspiring, though, yeah. bro. It's so really inspiring. by doing that, seeing a lot of people, uh, seeing me. That the people will see me play again. It's yeah. probably the the the, the, the people that experience or experiencing what I experience, mm. having that illness, the big C. They can see me like it's doable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not the end of your life. Yeah. When right. you unless it's really you know like really too late. You know? Yeah. But if there's still time, and yes, means is important. Mm-hmm. Money is important for the cure and everything. The, honestly. No, uh, reality check. No, yeah. but I think the mental and the faith. Faith, yeah. Mm. Faith and mental. I think that's the 
when you when you have that, I think you can you will have the bigger chance to get through yeah. Yeah. this kind of illness. So this is yeah. scary. La, would you say for for your situation, had you not been a basketball player and have the faith that you had, maybe you wouldn't have made it. Oh yeah, right. Because yeah. that 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 basketball that that fortified your mind, yeah, strengthened your strengthen your mind going them. through everything we have yeah. to go through as athletes. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 amazing to think about um, where you're at now and mm-hmm. what you're doing. Like the the whole country, I would like to say is is watching yeah. and, and seeing you get back to yeah. where you're trying to get the to. whole country supported him. Yeah, yeah. Was I was crazy. I was really you know I was really like you know I I cried you know my wife cried mm-hmm. you know because you know we didn't. We didn't uh, expect that, yeah. you know, it happened to me, and everyone was uh, even the person I don't know. Yeah, they they got my number, grab drivers, yeah. you know. Uh, That's wild. Uh, everyone yeah. messaging, everyone yeah. um, love you. Security guards, yeah, you know those people yeah. that really, you know, you didn't Your know that they life. really cared yeah. for and you. you not only they replied to them too, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I replied. <laughs> They're trying to reply. You know, what's crazy? As, as soon as I got the news, I messaged this guy. And yeah. I'm like thinking, like, he's probably blowing up. Yeah. He's not going to see this, yeah. you know. But but you know what? I just want him to know I love him yeah. and yeah. I support him. I'm praying yeah. for him and thinking about him. Bro, within two minutes, he replied to me. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. Like, I he, replied to I can everyone. imagine what yeah, he's going bro. through, but he replied to me right yeah. away. I was yeah. like, wow. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really, you know, it. it's really the, 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 the mentally. like, And then I, you know, I... It is what it is. It's already there. My 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 thing is it, it's already there. So yeah. you know, let's find a solution. Yeah. Let's make uh, probably every day. You know, before you know, during the the journey, because mm-hmm. you never know what you know the, the, what what's gonna happen after the treatment, 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 treatment. So you know, just really thankful that. Yeah. You know, so you're one hundred percent clear. I'm 100% clear, uh, so to speak, right now. Uh, but I still have uh, uh, blood test coming this month. Just blood test. Okay. And then after that, the doctor said uh, six months after. So that's one year of my operation yep. already. Another set of tests? Or? Uh, they're going to repeat my PET scan and okay, colonoscopy okay. Okay. again. So, so what were some life changes that they... They lifestyle, they lifestyle, change lifestyle change. Uh, well, lifestyle change. My doctor will always say uh, everything's moderate, no? Because everything. I. Yeah, the funny thing is, um, so when I so the doctor asked me, so what is your lifestyle? Yeah. So they're yeah. gonna ask you, do you have family members who have uh, uh, the same situation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have. So, okay, so what's your lifestyle? So I told him my lifestyle. So I stopped my, my pork and beef eight years ago yeah. because uh, my parents is prone for cholesterol and uric. Uh. So that's genetically, basically mm. my mom and my dad. So it's with me. Yeah. And every time I have check, check up with the, the gab, my uric and my, my cholesterol is elevate, <laughs> elevated. So, so I stopped my my pork and beef and beef probably once in a while mm-hmm. if I need to, if I play a lot, yeah. I need to regenerate. So I eat uh, beef. So, but there, so that's my lifestyle. I don't drink soft drinks. Yeah. I barely, you know, uh, eat um, uh, fast food unless yeah. I'm really hungry and then I have sure. to go through yeah. and then in the game, sometimes we don't have yeah, anything Jollibee. to eat. Jollibee, yeah. So, Jollibee chicken. Jollibee nice. chicken. Right. So anyway, so that's my just fire. My, I know my 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 thing. So, and then after that, okay. So he was writing, right, writing notes and everything. So, and then I asked him, so doc, so what do you think is the cause of this? Uh, why do you think people get cancer? He he's a no, uh, he's a uh, you know yeah. they call him my doctor in Singapore call him rock star. Yeah. Cool. He 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 was the if you can you can research him then his name. Uh, he was the doctor of the prime minister of Singapore. Oh, I'm hearing about that. And yeah, he's a uh, that He was uh, how how do you got that? How how will you say that? He's a datu. He they they put him as a datu in Malaysia. 
Okay. He's one of the Datu in Malaysia. Okay. So because he healed also, uh-huh. he cured also some of the bigger names in Malaysia. So basically, his clinic is uh, medical tourism. Mm. Okay. So all, all over the, the world, people are, you know, from this place, from UK, mm-hmm. from US. Wow. So I have classmates yeah. from yeah. different Chinese, so cool. ev- everywhere. So but anyway, so I asked him, so why do you think is uh, the cause, what docs? And he 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 asked me, he asked me back. So, oh, you answer your question, or what do you think is the cause? Mm. After saying, after telling me all your, after telling me your lifestyle. Yeah. So, what do you think is the cause? So he he meant that, you know, your lifestyle is already okay. Right. I mean, but still, you still yeah, got the, still. the 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 cancer. So what? Uh, how about the other? the other people who doesn't do your lifestyle right. probably they're the worst you know than worst eating mm-hmm. eating habits or they don't have exercise everything yeah. right right but they don't have they don't have the your same mm-hmm. so what do you think is the cause i was thinking oh i know i was like i did my my diet nice already my lifestyle is you know, good. I've been playing for the past how many years already. Yeah. My exercise every day. Still, I got it. I know. So my doctor said it's really a jackpot. You know, it's it, if you have, you have. Interesting. So you're you can, chosen, bro. Yeah, it's like you're yeah. chosen. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was. It it doesn't necessarily in your situation. I think God put you on this. He chose you and put you on this pedestal to be, kind of. An inspiration. It's a, a it's purpose. a testament. A it's being used yeah, as a it's vessel. a testament of everything as a purpose. Yeah. Yep. So for, sure. for me, what happened to me? There's a really, really a big what, purpose. purpose. What's your purpose now? You would say. Uh, now, I think moving for forward. Me, moving forward, I think I want to be really an inspiration, not again. Yeah. You know, by playing basketball, yes, being an inspiration to to a younger as basketball. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, inspire, inspiring basketball players. But for me, I want, you know, my, my purpose, I think it's really more than basketball now. Yeah. yeah. It's more than yeah. basketball. It's people. Yeah. Uh, doesn't matter who you are. I mean, I would like to to know, but mm-hmm. now I'm still, I don't know, but I'm still, probably every day, if I talk to people like mm-hmm. you guys, you know, I haven't talked to, to you for the longest time. I talked to Gabe and JD, but you know, when when talking to people, probably somehow I I get parang I can get into them and you know learn something from me on what happened. You want to have a good transaction with not, them? Not yeah. not not because because of the awa, Mm-mm. you know the awa that oh yeah because you got cancer. Yeah. You know, what about awa? Is that English? Uh, Sympathy. 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 Okay, gotcha. Sorry, guys. So, sympathy. So, I, I, I don't like that. Eh? Yes, you know, awa. You don't have to be yeah. awa. You know? mm-hmm. uh, I just want you to see me as, you know, I'm here. I, you know, I, I got through it. You know, mm-hmm. I, 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 uh, I fought. I fought for this. Yeah. You know, by, by, um, by. How, how do you say that? By believing. No, but yeah, by believing that I have a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. You no, know, in uh, aside from playing basketball. Yeah. So, and to other people, yeah, yeah, you know, people that I talk to, like every day, if I, if I talk to my friends, oh, well, I hope they some some somehow they they pick something that. They learn that oh yeah, life is, life is yeah, you're just life is life. I yeah, mean, yeah. <laughs> it's like your next chapter, man. You're still yeah. gonna be a public figure, and you're still gonna be on this magnifying glass be- in in a good way because yeah. you're gonna be your next step of of your purpose. Imagine, imagine what happened to me right after, right after I find out, find out that I'm gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be clear, and then. I became an assistant coach for the yeah. national yeah. team. Yeah. And then we won a gold medal. Yeah. yeah. First time 60 years. After I, was, time, I yeah. was like, and then, you know, the funny story about that is when, when Coach Tim and Boss Al asked me about it, 
Mm-hmm. Of course, I can't say no right yeah. away. I was doing my chemo. I was sitting down in that clinic. I said, oh, LA, um, you want to be part of the team? Assistant coach. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so I was... And then I was... After probably two minutes, I, I thought about it. I was like, oh, if I'm part of the coaching staff, I cannot go around. I cannot go around China. Or I can't, you know, I can't do my thing. You uh, know, right. you want you're working, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm working with them and like going to practice. Okay. So I called right away, boss. I, boss, I changed my mind. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be part of it because I cannot go around the. the you can city. enjoy yourself. <laughs> you don't get to enjoy. Oh, you enjoy the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the boss, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> You're okay already. Time to work. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and then uh, sure we enough, won the gold sure medal. Enough. I was like, oh, maybe it's really, you know, it's really purpose. Purpose. Yeah. Everything is really bro. a purpose. Now, came back practicing. My target is really still, you know, I'm on point. No, my okay. target is playing in December. So now, so far, I my 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 target supposedly when we go to the training camp. To join the five on five, yeah. nice. That was my target, Word. and now I'm doing the five on five already. Nice. Nice. And so it's really, you know, the the blessing, and then to my for to my family, to mm-hmm. my children, you know. So for me, that's the most important thing now. Yeah, you know, yeah. my, my family, my career, my friends, those who who are really there for me the yeah. the whole time, those who are mm-hmm. uh, who prayed for me. You know, you really appreciate it after what happened because. Parang a lot of people, even though they're not in ever fans, no, uh, they will really, they will really approach you. You know, I'm not a fan, but uh, I really like your positivity. Yeah, maybe yeah. people that don't even play basketball yeah. that reached out to you and said, "Hey, yeah, I can't." A lot. They don't watch basketball. A lot. They don't know PBA. Yeah, now, now yeah. they can relate to you. Yeah. And then when I walk around in the mall, I'm like, you know, it seems like you don't. Have a make sure you wear a mask. Sometimes they will say, "Oh, make sure you, you wear, wear a mask." mask. Because, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> Maybe I should. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. But I don't. But you know, it's yeah. it's really you know it's really now that I'm I'm okay. So hopefully, a lot of people who who will watch this, yeah, sure, bro, you know, for sure, uh, in for the future sure, that can go back and say, you know, life is really, yeah, you know, important. I mean, every day is. Every day is a new day. Yeah. Yeah. And don't think just like what Saul said, don't take anything for granted. Like yeah. you know, yeah. Well, we're, we're only human. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that our nature is really sometimes we take things for granted. Ah, okay, later na. Okay na yan, mm-hmm. yeah. we're, we're like that, eh? Yeah. So, but that's the challenge. Yeah. That's part the of, challenge, yeah. That's the challenge. Eh? Mm-hmm. It's part of the mental toughness. Right. Yeah. Uh and the challenge in you. That you're gonna uh, face, you know, yeah. especially when you're growing old already and mm-hmm. feeling this kind. But yeah, and now okay, looking forward to play again. Yep. Hopefully by cool. December, my target and everyone wants to watch. So I got a stay tuned. Yeah. Hey, well, thank you, LA, for yeah. for sharing that. Yeah, it's that my first time to share. And yeah. vulnerable. Now you guys yeah. are my brothers. So. Yeah. Streets of Nasubu Batangas to the Let It Fly studio. We thank um, LA Tenorio for coming on and having a special episode with thank us. Um, he's been amazing to share his story with us. So thank you again, brother. Thank you. Thank this thank has you, been thank you. another episode of Let It Fly from Saul Mercado, JD. JD. Gabe. Gabe Norwood, yep. L.A. Tenorio, Ten Oaks, the Iron Man, the real Iron Man. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love. Love you guys. Love you, brother. Yeah, love you, brothers. <laughs> cool. <laughs>